Shashini from Batch 27. Today I want to explain about introduction of counseling. Counseling is a professional help process at helping individuals to understand themselves and around them. These counselors are professionals and have qualifications in the field of counseling. Counseling process will use face-to-face -face conversation between the counselor and the client. Counselors will use basic counseling skills in this structured conversation. Two people will be involved in individual counseling and more than two people in group counseling. During the process of counseling, goals will be identified and this is the purpose of the counseling process. The goals can change if that is what the counselors and the clients see as beneficial. Types of counseling. Types of counseling are marriage, family therapy, trauma, drug, student, depression, anxiety and sex therapy. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mishali Raghunathan from Batch 27. Today, I would like to talk about introduction of e counseling. Online counseling is a type of therapy in which clients and therapists collaborate mutually as opposed to in a one person. Professional mental health counseling that is conducted primarily online is known as online counseling. Instead of traditional face to face encounters, pupils seeking counseling services and qualified. Professional counselors communicate using computers added technologies. In e-counseling, use via phone calls, video calls, messages, WhatsApp, Instagram, and many more. Online counseling increased dramatically in 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic, as many countries issue lockdowns to control the spread of the virus. Consequently, mental health professionals were unable to meet with their clients in a person, so continued treatment in online. In addition to these transitions, the pandemic and associated quarantine caused many people to become an anxiety and depressions, which resulted in an increased demand for mental health services because online counseling became so prominent during the time. Thank you. I am Nidla Devi Devi Dread, Batch 27B. Today I want to talk about medium of counseling. Medium e counseling typically involves providing therapy or counseling service through online platform such as video call, phone call, or messaging. Here are a few examples video counseling seizing a view, Zoom, or meet face to face conversation. Second, phone counseling provide accessible and convert therapy. Third, messaging therapy. Client and therapies communicate through messaging platform or secure online portals. Email counseling. Client and therapy communicate via emails. Five, chat-based counseling. Real-time text-based conversation through platform counseling. Lastly, on Instagram and WhatsApp can use video and voice conversation. In Google Meet and Skype, use video conversation. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kalevani and from Batch 27. Today, I'm going to talk about the advantages and limitation of e-counseling. If in advantages, there are accessibility, affordability, convenience, and privacy. Look at the accessibility. The technology can make e-counseling more accessible and overcoming barriers like remote locations and transportation issues. If we look at affordability, online counseling costs less than traditional in-person counseling. They can reduce the expenses related to the transportation. Instead of spending it on transportation, they can spend it on to continue the session. If look at the convenience, the clients can schedule their session that at times that fit their personal schedule. If you look at the privacy, privacy is the main thing because the client don't want don't want to overheard by someone. Like for example, let's say they're going for the traditional counseling, they might be bump they might bump into someone they know and it might be a questionable. To avoid all this, they can choose the e-counseling where it can be more privacy because e-counseling provide private environment. Limitations of e-counseling there's got distraction, technology issues and technical issues. 
So we look at this fraction. Let's say the client choose the house as environment to continue the session. As we know, the environment there there might be like kids around, animals, or maybe like neighbors making noise. This can pose a challenges like ma not maintaining a safe or a focus session. Okay, and then the second one, the most common thing is not every client can offer a laptop or they might not have a fast enough internet they might have like technical issues like they might not able to connect to the website or they might have like power failures and the last one the counselor might not able to see the behavior of the client during the e-counseling because they might the client might choose texting for the counseling session so it will be hard for them to assume what the client is going through. What if the client is going through a hard phase, like they might have a suicidal thoughts, like self-harm. So it's really dangerous. So from this, I learned that e-counseling has its own pros and cons. I have been Rao from Batch 7. Today I'm going to share about my opinion of uh, using technology in counseling. My opinion on using technology, technology in counseling can be beneficial, especially in reaching individuals who may not have access to in-person counseling or who prefer the convenience and comfort of online platform. Technology can facilitate communications through video call, messaging or even chat box providing more accessibility and flexibility support options. However, it's crucial to ensure privacy and security measures are in place to protect clients' confidential and to be mindful of potential limitation in rep building, report building, and non-verbal, non-verbal communication clues. Overall, integrating technology into counseling can change access to mental health support, but it's essential to it use thoughtfully and ethically. Thank you.